Here's what I know. Anything in life worth doing is worth overdoing. Moderation is for power. Driving along in my truck and I got this inspiration, Maria needs to have a birthday party. She did not want to have a party in the beginning and she just wanted to do something really small and she didn't want a big thing. Well, that's not, that's not Maria. I got her one day to be able to say that she wanted to have the party and when she said she wanted to have the party then I was like, okay, perfect. You know, if we did a party, what would it be? So I decided I would not let anybody know and that we would keep it a secret. Of course, everybody is starting to put everything together. We set the stage up two days ago, so the stage is now up. We now have to coordinate bringing in all the decorations. Maria is very blingy, and one of her nicknames is Jaja, so she's, you know, very much about jewelry. You're killing me, Smalls. No, you can't have bling on this table. This is full of DJ equipment. So that was perfect, and the denim was a part of her family heritage, you know, being on the ranch and being a cowgirl. And diamonds and denim ended up being that whole piece of exactly what fit. We also now have the ladies that are going to lunch are decorating. And we'll be making all the flower arrangements. We have all the tables that we need to decorate. I've designed this so that people actually need to be able to stand up. They need to be able to walk around so that they can meet people. Tight, knit, close, squeeze, perfect. About five minutes ago, I just got this text message, though, that we had a little bit of problem with the ice sculpture. Well, the camera crew is supposed to do the ice sculpture today at 2 o'clock. Well, I've just found out the ice sculpture got carved yesterday. Now it's already done, and it's in the freezer. They're going to do a special delivery of ice, and he's going to go down, and I'm going to call the camera crews and see if they can meet him down there at 2 o'clock. And we now have about six hours before the event, and we're going to try to do another ice sculpture. These chairs have to go someplace else. Oh, the text went out. Every week for a month, I put a clue out. Nobody knew where it was going to be. So now everybody knows. Now the post is out. Now Facebook is out. That's it. Party's on. What time is it? Roll the red carpet out. Get all these lights plugged in. Today has been a hectic day. It is now 4.15. I'm supposed to be home uh, dressed, showered, changed, and walking out the door at 5 o'clock. Hey, I gotta go. I've got 45 minutes to get home, to turn around, to be ready, to get in the limousine. Hey, bye guys, we'll see you shortly. We're supposed to be there at our dinner table. Are we waiting for Maria? Getting ready? Yeah. And then be able to get in the helicopter. Michaela? Marshall just got in, he's in the shower. Okay. It looks like at this point, the helicopter is still gonna be a go. I keep looking at the weather about every five minutes to be able to see if the showers are gonna come through. And it looks like we're gonna be able to make the helicopter work. Marshall, nice to meet you. Let's go in the car, guys. We'll see you guys there. Maria doesn't know where we're going to go. We get her in a limo. My kids don't know either. I don't even know where we're going right now. They keep asking me, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? And I'm not telling them a thing. The driver turns around and he says, okay, I'm on my way to Tamaya. And he slams the door. So they all know that we are now going to Tamaya and they are convinced that the party's at Tamaya. We drove up there and we had the, the chef's table at Tamaya. We sat down and started to eat our dinner and it's time for us to leave the restaurant. We gotta go. And then the helicopter is supposed to fly us down and at seven o'clock they were gonna take everybody from inside the event and they were gonna take them to outside to watch us land in this helicopter. Hey guys, come over here, sit down. Well, the helicopter pilot just called me 
and he just told me that it didn't look like the weather was going to work, so we decided we would scratch it. I brought everybody down and I sat him on the couch, and you know, it was sad because it didn't happen, but nothing ever goes like you plan it in your head, ever. I had the most minute details. When we landed, the guy was supposed to take the rotors all the way down to the minimum amount that he could take them down. So we had as little wind as physically possible. So when Maria got out, we wouldn't mess her hair up. Never goes that way, ever. What? The party's not here. Why did I tell my job I got? Okay. The party's not here. Okay. So the limousine now had to hustle to get us back because our 15-minute helicopter ride was not going to be 15 minutes. We were going to now have a 30-minute car ride and be able to get to the event, which now, of course, was on the other side of town. Nobody still knows where we're going. None of the kids know where we're going to go. Maria doesn't know where we're going to go. They're speculating, oh, well, it must be here and it must be there. It's going to be at Sandia. Past Sandy Casino. It's not at Sandy Casino. It's not Sandia. Come on. Oh, where, oh, where could it be? They still haven't figured it out, so it must be at the pyramid. We're still going down, and now they think it's downtown. <laughs> Dude, really, bro? Come on. What is this with certainty? We're almost to the big eye, and I end up going into Facebook, and I start reading the clues to them. The smell of smoke will be in the air, and yes, this will be a lovely affair. It's roughly 10 minutes before we actually get to where we're going, and they figure out exactly where we're going, and I read clue number four. Marshall and Maria get it right away. They immediately guess, oh, it's got to be at the casino at the Downs of Albuquerque, and that's when they figure it out. Did you guess that, sister? Woo! We're really excited at this point. It's all coming together. Everything's working out. All of the people are now standing outside waiting as Maria gets out. And she now walks up the red carpet, and we walk in, and all of the people are now waiting for her and, and waiting to be able to greet her for her birthday. Let's, uh, let's go inside so we can get in where it's warm. photographer on the roof we've set it up we're going to bring everybody outside so that we can then do this group photograph so we get everybody outside <laughs> at this point I still haven't figured out how I'm gonna let the fireworks guy know to start the fireworks so I'm like oh my gosh what am I gonna do we find out that there's a light that's outside if somebody will grab that light so we have to have Maria walk down to the step to be able to get to the light she has no clue. Nobody has a clue of what is fixing to come. What else could I do that would be really cool? And I think to myself, we get all the way to the end, and then if we could have this big heart. I don't even know if it's possible. And I call a fireworks guy on the phone and he says, man, they are really, really hard to find. Somewhere around Denver, Colorado, he and this guy trudge through three feet of snow. They got to dig to pull out these two hearts. And I was like, two? I don't need two. I only need one. 50% of the time, they just don't ever go off like they're supposed to. And he says, I can't promise you that they'll even work at all. The first one goes up and you can kind of tell it's a heart. The second one goes and there's this big giant heart. It's the last firework and it's perfect. It was really, really, really cool. I love you. So we walk in and all of a sudden I look across the room and here's this giant stiletto high heel. It is, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's this, this coolest looking high heel, stiletto high heel. Everybody starts running over there and they're buying shots. But we can't get to the top. It's too tall. The bartender now climbs up on top of a ladder so that she can pour the alcohol in the top of this thing and it comes flying out the bottom of the toe. Well, you know, everybody's running up and they're just trying to suck on this toe. We are having the best time with this luge. Again, it was one of the hits of the party 
and it was it, it was an afterthought. It was a complete mistake, and it turned out to be one of the best things that we could absolutely have in the party. Everything happens for a reason, and you can plan, and you can do, and you can say, and you want it to be that way, but in the end, it is what it is, and it was absolutely perfect. Moderation is for cowards. Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. That's a quote that is from the Navy SEALs. Inside of that quote is, is part of what drives those guys every day. To never quit. To never give up. It's a part of just doing your best. You know, doing your best every day and what you can do. So that has become uh, very important to me about doing what you can do doing your best, and, and just to keep going and just to never be able to give up. Marty and I have been married for 22 years, and uh, we met and were engaged after seven weeks and married in seven months. And that was, this will be 22 years. And I love, 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 love her with all my heart. And I wanted to be able to just put on this, you know, extraordinary birthday party for her because you know 50s 50s 50 and she is my my precious Maria and uh, I wanted to be able to do everything that I could possibly do for her to make it the very most special day that I could absolutely make it for her. you know you have a lot of friends but at the end of the day when you call them up and you say hey we're gonna have this party and can you help come help support me can you come help support Maria and all of them turn up. They're the ones that make it special. We're so grateful to be able to have all of those friends in, in our life and all of those people that, that, that help us and care for us. You know, this party was absolutely a tremendous success. It was an amazing feeling to be able to have all those people out there. We were really, really, really blessed to be able to have as many people as we had there and do what we could do and to be able to give back. And we really, really enjoyed it. And we hope everybody had a really, really great time at the party. And we hope that it was really wonderful because we enjoyed it and we had a great time with everybody there. Next year, you know, I, next year I'm selling tickets. Takes my blues away. Maria. 